that's another thing where I'm not sure if people actually care about gigantism or if they're using it as a proxy for other things that they don't like. Like, I could totally imagine a Well, person... I care about it. Sure. So... Yeah, you might. Yeah, sorry. I, it just that's in okay. general. That's yeah. okay. Um, because <clears throat> like I could imagine somebody saying that like they don't trust like a large government, they think there's too much, uh, you know, prone to tyranny or something like that, but also be supportive of an institution like the Catholic Church, which is literally, you know, one guy who has a direct right, line to God. They can't tax. Um, well, I mean, there's... and they don't have a military. That and is, they can't conscript you. True. Right? Yeah, and they can't throw you in jail. I've been present for the birth. Of every little creature on this island. <laughs> Surely not the ones that are bred in the in the wild. Uh, yeah. Actually, they can't breed in the yeah. wild. Come on. Population control is one of our security precautions. There's no unauthorized breeding in Jurassic Park. Wow. <laughs> and how do you know they can't breed? Oh, because all the animals in Jurassic Park. Are... Gay! Oh. We've engineered them that way. How was your evening? Very satisfactory. And yours? She was... Not a she. Mm. And, uh... Was that a problem for you? If you like surprises, you're gonna love the locker rooms at Planet Fitness. I'm starving. Planet Fitness. Life's full of surprises. Well, you know, so much of the privilege I have, the ability to uh, be here, sitting here right now, is really because of so many trans women of color who have consistently put their lives on the line throughout history, you know? I'm grateful to have the access to the resources I've, I've had because I don't know what would have happened if, if I didn't. Be a great track, guys. What's the deal? Uh, are, are you sure that was sounding okay? I'll be honest, fellas, it was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. The computer which controlled the machines, by then known only as X, sent two Terminators back through time. The first Terminator was programmed to strike at my mother in the year 1970 before I was born. It failed. The second was set to strike at me directly when I was still a child. As before, the Resistance was able to send a lone warrior, a protector for me. It was just a question of which one of them would reach me first.
Jones, how are you? Jeremy, I love the quartering. I love Salty Cracker. I love it all. Salty Cracker, how are you? Boy, that just sounds crazy. I can't believe I'm joined by the Roseanne Bar. I'm so glad. You're very welcome. Nice to be here. Who is Jeremy and what is the quartering? Well, I'm a commentator, I guess. I'm a Midwestern dude who uploads four to five videos a day covering everything from big tech to YouTube, to technology, to pop culture, movies, video games, whatever's going on in the world, I've got you covered. We're still on YouTube right now. <laughs> uh, Bud Light has decided to just quadruple down in the face of losing nearly $30 billion. Reimagine, I'm sorry, again, I miss it again, I'm out of practice. Reimaginings. They are literally trying to put a content creator in prison uh, for their opinions. You're gonna find interviews on my channel, you're gonna find deep dives, you're gonna find breaking news, you're gonna find long-term coverage. Everything you need to stay in touch, you're gonna find on The Quartering. If you're watching this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I really think you're gonna find one or two videos a day that you really enjoy. happy what day is it friday shout out friday interesting uh news today thanks for um checking out my unscheduled noon stream by the way if you are uh, one of my former nooners the stream is and has officially moved to 5 30 eastern um at least for the month of april as a test so there's that um and actually i want to um uh, hold on one second okay um lots going on Jeremy's returning to the 12 time slot. It's not true. It's not true. I am not. Well, I don't know. I mean, ultimately, the truth is, uh, if the five o'clock time slot does not, you know, 530 Eastern doesn't um, reach more people, then I'll, I'll go back to the new one. You know, I'll go, then I'll go back to the same time slot. So it's a, yeah, last American Sam Scratch got that reference. <laughs> yeah, man, I love it when people get the obscure references. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, if you're tuning in on Midwestly, today is, I'm sorry, yes, Midwestly, today's the last day. I'll be streaming there. So please move over to Quartercast. Um, that would be the bee's knees if you did that. And then where is, I want to bring up, I don't think, yeah, I don't think maybe Quartercast. I don't know if Quartercast sent a notification or not, but Shout out everyone there. I know you aren't an EBS fan, but what do you think about C2E2 banning people from the con? Um, well, I don't think that any convention should be banning potential customers um, in general, unless you know they're violent or, or something like that, something stupid. I saw some people griping about the, the run-up, the countdown. Um, the reason I actually do the countdown is because it, I don't think rumble sends the notification right away. I'm happy to get rid of the countdown and just pop on and be live immediately. 
but I think there's a reason like basically everybody does some form of a countdown because you know, the notification doesn't get sent out and, um, you know, it gives people time to file in. Is Miss Quarter going to pop out of a birthday cake? Well, I hope so. But I'll be spending my birthday with uh, with somebody else. Be spending my birthday with somebody else. Well, not actually technically my birthday. I'll be spending my birthday here. But then I'm off like a prom dress to continue my celebration. She barricaded him in the studio. Don't get rid of the countdown. Yeah. Wait, don't go to the crowd or stop doing his. Oh, he did stop? Is it Jeremy's Burgers and a BJ day? That would be a good day. That would be a good day. So there's a couple of clips I wanted to talk about uh, going on. First and foremost, this one was is pretty interesting. Um, let me see here. Now I don't have a co-host, so I have to write everything down myself. Myself. Um, this is an interesting clip I wanted to first take a look at. Let's see here. Okay. So I saw this video floating around um, the internet. Uh, well, as of four hours ago, it got very, very popular on the internet. And it's, uh, it's relevant to me because it's about Wisconsin, but it's also relevant to me because it answers some questions very specifically about why exactly I'm seeing so many um, illegals in my state, in the suburbs, in the townships, just flooded with them. And uh, this individual who goes by a conservative ant 2.0, um, I assume this person, Wall Street Apes, is just sharing somebody else's video. Hi, good evening, everybody. I hope that you are doing well today. The reason I bring up this little green screen um, is because a, a little bird told me to look into this, a friend of mine. And um, I wanted to bring it to your attention. So as we know, they've been shipping a lot of illegal people all over uh, the country. And they're bringing them into Wisconsin. Now, this says free ID for voting. Get an ID for voting, even if you do not have the documentation to get a regular Wisconsin ID. This is on Wisconsin.'s website, okay? Now, I don't know what he means. I have to, like, before I can confirm this, when he said it's on Wisconsin.'s website, I'm not sure what that means. Um, Wisconsin Department of Transportation is that is that where it is? Um, I'll have to double check to find out if this is actually, you know, live, and, or if this is actually still up. But essentially, this is referring to illegals getting an ID so they can vote, even if they don't qualify for an actual ID. So if this is true. By the way, you know, um, if somebody can find the link and verify it, and that you can post it in chat, um, the the uh, is very concerning, right? This would, if this is true, uh, this would, how would I say, uh, this would prove exactly what a lot of people are thinking. Okay, I'm gonna show you something else. Let's really look at number three here. If you don't have all or any of these, you can still get an ID for voting. I'm willing to bet that the blue people are giving them munties, hunties to Good vote save. blue. If well, what, what ends up happening is 
Um, let's actually put this up. Thank you. Um, let's go. Let's go. Real time fact check. This is real. Here's the proof. It's on Wisconsin.gov. So Wisconsin dot is correct, but it's also a government website. And this shows get a free ID for voting is easy, even when you do not have the documentation. Thank God getting an ID is easy. Go to the DMV. Now you must provide name, date of birth, proof of identity, Wisconsin residency, and proof of citizenship. That's kind of a big one on the end. But number three says, if you don't have any of these, you can still get an ID for voting. Just bring whatever you have to the DMV and fill out two forms, the MV3004 and the MV3012. Now, what these are, are particular, I assume that they are some sort of exception forms. All right, let's bring them up. This is the DMV administrator petition unavailable documentation. Use this form. Use of this form is authorized pursuant to Wisconsin Administrative Code uh, for a photo identification for the purposes that complies with this Wisconsin Act 23. So you can have you know, your parents' birthday for, for United States citizens not born in the United States who do not have the appropriate documentation. Also, Department of Homeland Security stuff. Wisconsin ID cards used for voting are free. Check the box. ID for free on the back. So first, you have to fill out MV3004. If you have a Social Security number, number, you must provide it. By the way, you should have to have one to vote, I would assume. Complete form MV3004. Uh, if you are not a U.S. citizen, present proof of legal presence every time you apply. To get your original ID, you either need a current unexpired Wisconsin ID or proof of name, date of birth, legal presence, identity, Wisconsin residence. I mean, this is concerning. I am not a legal expert, but I don't like it. If this isn't election interference that's going on in the United States right now, and this is one state, you can look this up, honey, wisconsin.com. Uh, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. This other link, by the way, thank you to my real-time fact checkers. Here's how to obtain a free Wisconsin state ID for voting purposes. Check the box. So they basically give you an infographic on to how to get an ID. But I'm not sure that I can't tell you. I know that when I vote in Wisconsin, I'm asked for my ID, but I don't know if that's the, if that's the case everywhere. So getting the ID may not even matter whether or not you can vote. Um, but yeah, of course, it is my opinion that they are flying in all of these illegals and putting them in areas that they want to turn blue. Um, there's a reason they're in Wisconsin. Wisconsin went red, then blue, and now they're worried about it going red again. There's a reason they want to put them, uh, you know, in the Midwest, right? First of all, less noticeable. Second of all, you can start to chip away at the redness of those said states. Now, I don't know at what rate illegals actually vote unless they are extremely well incentivized, I would imagine. I imagine most illegals are not, you know, they're not wanting to spend time around government buildings. The only reason, like many states, the only reason Wisconsin is blue is because of two cities. Basically, two dots out of a th thousand dots in this state make it blue. And that's Milwaukee and Madison. Madison's like 95% blue and Milwaukee's like 80% blue. 
And it's like two thirds of the state's population. This is why the electoral college is kind of important. This is why people who, you know, who want to abolish the electoral college, they know what that really means. Abolishing the electoral college really means, you know, just being Democrat, being blue forever, being like the Australia or the UK where you're just left or lefter are your only options. They're shipping them into Minnesota. They're shipping in, them into Wisconsin. They're shipping them in to Michigan. This is undeniable. What is, what is not yet proven beyond a reasonable doubt is their intentions, which it will be to, impossible to prove. But it certainly is my opinion that they are doing this to shift the state's voting demographics. They've been trying forever to make Texas blue, you know, and, and for some reason it just keeps staying red. They want to pump them into Florida. They want to get those electoral votes, pump them into Florida, pump them into uh, ev everywhere else they conceivably can to shift the voting demographics. Obviously, I can't state this as a fact. I can't state, state this as a fact. What can you do about it? Well, you can start locally and start petitions to you know require identification and citizenship to vote. These are two pretty core issues that are not being enforced in a lot of states. I think if you get this enforced, that's a great place to start. Um, you know, if you, not electing any people who are going to allow people who aren't citizens to vote, um, make it a very simple requirement. Um, you know, I think um, making voting a national holiday might be an interesting thing to do. Um, generally, people who are unemployed and sitting at home have time to vote anyway. The people who are working have less time to vote. You know, thing, things like that. Now, I don't know how that would actually shake out, to be honest with you. I don't know if it would even affect turnout or if it would be more beneficial. But certainly, I, I'd like people who have to go to work every day to have a chance to vote um, rather than just the people who are sitting at home. People, people seem to, we need, you know, candidates. We need candidates who also, um, you know, support strong voter ID laws. If they don't support that, then they don't get your vote. You know, that's, that, that's, that's where I would start. I would look at abolishing long-term welfare. I don't have any problem with short-term welfare, but people living off it, no. Because that is a carrot that the Democrats use every election season. Oh, they're going to take away your free money if you vote for the orange man. Get rid of that. Long-term welfare has to go. Short-term welfare, disability, unemployment. I don't have any problem with short-term. These things are supposed to be short-term gap fills, not a lifestyle. Stop paying people more for having more babies. Because th this, these are the carrots that people threaten to take away uh, for, in exchange for votes. But that, that's probably where I would start. I just want to respond to a couple of kind rumble rants. Defiant blackout. Then I forgot to come back. Oh, I think that's part of a two-parter, so let me read the first part. The countdown isn't what bothers me. It's the timing. You say you're going live at 1, get here at 1, have to wait 15 minutes. Okay, I get it. So just make sure you start at 1245. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair, Defiant. I usually try to. Today, I just got behind. Pac-Man says, of course, evil Evers will do something like this. They want to cheat in the election again. Yeah, I remember when Evers promised that he was going to legalize marijuana and he got all those votes from libertarian potheads like me. And then uh, they, he never did it. Uh, Darkshine5 said, happy birthday, mate. Get yourself a drink lighter. Thank you, Darkshine. I will. Matt Hammond says, happy birthday. Enjoy dinner tonight. Your dog was living his best life in that picture. Yeah, yeah. He's, chill, he's maxing and relaxing. That's, that's for sure. Just want to remind people wherever you're watching, you know, if you're on Rumble, you're awesome. Thank you. If you're on YouTube, if you're on the Midwestly channel, please start making the move over to Quartercast. Uh, Quartercast is, you know, Midwestly is going away this weekend. I can't have, have it getting an old strike. There's 175 people watching on Midwestly. Please start make the move to quarter cast. 
Quartercast, one word. We're live there right now. I'll put the link in the description. Make the move over there. Or Rumble's fine too. Rumble's better. But Jeremy's going to Myanmar, location the second last Rambo movie. The second to last Rambo movie was almost my favorite. Is that crazy to say? Is that crazy to say that Ram the second last Rambo movie, I think it was just called Rambo. That was my second favorite Rambo movie. Rambo 2 is my probably my favorite. Tony says, happy birthday. Thank you, bud. Yeah, actually, it was in Burma. That's correct. Well, Burma, Myanmar. Is Myanmar even still a nation? I thought, I thought that like the gore was a little over the top in that in that Rambo movie, in the second last one. Like it was like a little over the top. Um, like you could definitely tell they ramped it up, but it's not like I disliked it. Uh, do I feel like Wisconsin is doomed? No, I don't. Does not. Yeah, bonfire babies. Yeah, there are bonfire babies. There's all sorts of stuff. But it did make like the guy on the 50 cal. I don't know if it was 50 cal, but the super big sniper rifle. Like there was that shot he took where it just like ripped through three guys. Like it was pretty awesome. Can you move your CIB NES Mega Man game to the middle of the shelf? I don't know. That would be a job for Maggie now. Commando was the best Rambo movie. No, Commando is Commando is a good movie, undeniably. Um, it has some of the best, some of the best one-liners. You'll have to excuse my friend. He's dead tired. Do I drink out of the side of my mouth? I don't know. Let me try. No, I don't. I think I go dead center. I think I go dead. I think I think I go dead center. By the way, huge shout out to this stream's sponsor real quick. Tax Network USA. Are you struggling with back taxes or unfiled returns? The IRS is escalating collections, adding 20,000 new agents, and it's sending over 5 million collection letters to kick off 2024. In these challenging times, your best defense is Tax Network USA. Don't let the IRS take advantage of you. With over 14 years' experience, Tax Network USA has saved their clients over a billion dollars in back taxes. No matter the size of your tax issue, their expertise is your advantage. They specialize in negotiating with the IRS, aiming to significantly reduce your debt. They don't just negotiate, they also protect your assets from IRS seizures and manage your yearly returns for ongoing compliance. Importantly, they are also licensed to help in all state tax issues, regardless of where you live. The clock is ticking. Don't wait for the IRS to step its game up and seize control of your financial future now. Contact Tax Network USA for immediate relief. Call 1-800-245-6000 or visit tnusa.com slash Jeremy. Links in the description. Don't let tax issues overpower you. Turn to Tax Network USA and find your financial peace of mind. Now, interesting. Pac-Man says, Mike Johnson is just cast a deciding vote in the House of an Amendment that will allow the FBI to spy on American citizens without warrant. I know. I saw that. I know. If it wasn't a travel day, I'd, have, I'd make a video about it. But I like pretty much have to... I have to get packed. I have to get all my uh, all my like audio equipment, all that kind of stuff. I was in Madison last week. Can't believe how many blue signs I saw on properties. TDS is strong there. Oh, Madison. I mean, Madison's always been very liberal, but I mean, it's it's uh, it's pretty brutal. Want to watch a trans ideology demon get absolutely wrecked? Thanks, uh, Bo Jiden, for the happy birthday wishes. Is that the Section 702 thing? Yes, it is. The cracks are starting to show. The cracks are starting to show in the in big trance, 
in the in the trans you know ideology of of, of vocation of America. This is uh, a, a, just a clip from Dr. Phil, which I think we're going to enjoy together. This is a quiet clip that's not, it's all the way up on my end. So hopefully you can hear it. I don't know if this is a man or a woman. I'm not trying to be mean. Dr. Phil is a hack. Mm, that might be true, but I do think he's extremely useful in his current iteration where he's exposing DEI and, and the trans agenda, you know? Like... I'm not going to, like, I don't even follow him on Twitter. I'm not going to have Dr. Phil on my show. Although, I, actually, of course I would. Um, but I think he's doing great work uh, and also the border crisis, you know. He can be a hack, but he's got a big platform. This is kind of what I thought, I thought about. You know, I've been rethinking a lot of my feuds lately. And I feel like, if there's a content creator that I that I that I disagree with something on strongly, but like a large percentage of the other stuff they do, I think is good. That needs to be something that I just need to chill out on. Except for Pearl, I'm always going to dunk on Pearl. But anyway, yeah, I think this is a man. But just listen to the crowd. This is this is a you know I don't know what Dr. Phil's crowd is but I assume it's maxed out. If you guys can't hear it, I don't know what to do. I can't I can't. Uh, it's maxed out. All right. Well, I'll have to skip that clip because it's like literally maxed out. Um, it's not a boomer thing. It's sharing the audio. It's just quiet. Essentially, it goes. Um, you know, Dr. Phil, when a trans advocate is met with groans of disapproval from the audio, uh, from the studio audience saying these kids know who they are at three, four, and five, expert doctor explains why GD transitioners show us that in kids, in fact, do not always know who they are. The trans advocate asks the doctor how often detransition occurs. He says that regret can take a long time to manifest. But a 2022 comprehensive review of medical records of teens and young adults shows that 30% of them discontinued hormones after four years. That's a huge chunk of people that, you know, would have cut their healthy breast tissue off that are just like, ah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool on that. And by the way, that's after only four years. What do you think these people are going to do after 10 years? The rate of detransition is likely to go up, the doctor says, because the gender affirmation protocol used in these clinics is based on the idea that, quote, kids know who they are without any safeguards or questioning of these kids' motives and mindsets. The rate of regret will increase. There's no doubt about that. There's, I mean, there's no doubt about that. And if you look at, I mean, just in the last week, we've seen these articles come out. Um, this is a study, uh, a study done by, uh, that was done, I'm sorry, in April, first week of April. Puberty blockers may not be reversible and could raise the children's risk of fertility problems and even cancer. Mayo Clinic suggests. The Mayo Clinic has said, nah, actually, puberty blockers aren't good. You know what's interesting is, the trans cult, the trans ideology, the, the doctors, the activists that have been pushing this, what have they been saying about puberty blockers since day one? You need to, what have they, what have, wait, you need to fix locals. Why? Locals is working fine. I see everyone in locals. Um, the, the number one thing these people said is, well, it's totally harmless. You can just pause puberty. Wrong. Hey, shout out Radio Beats. Happy birthday, boss. When's the the dunking on Pearl stream? Probably not for a while. I'm make I'm doing a little bit of uh channel growth appearances this coming up week. 
Lowell Nottacott says, happy birthday, Jeremy. These doctors need to be held liable for pushing transitioning. 20 years ago to transition, a person was required to be at least 18 and live as their preferred sex for one year. That even seems light. You know? That even seems light. So all these weirdos that have been pushing all this stuff, right? Songbird says, I got told all the issues it can cause when I started heart attacks, cancer, incontinence, and more. Damn. Now, you want to take puberty blockers? That's fine. I mean, that's, you know, whatever. I guess that's a different argument. But the idea that there's absolutely, like, they're just such an easy fix and that you can put the most important time in your body's physiology on pause with no repercussions. Um, Everyone knew that was bologna sausage, right? Everyone knew that was was bananas. But what did the doctors say? What would the in the, these demonic doctors would tell the kids? Tell the kids' parents. I'm sorry. Do you want a dead kid or a trans kid? That's that's what they would say. To, to to push them into it? I'm not kidding. They would say, do you want a dead kid or a trans kid? In fact, the statistics around affirming care, from what I have seen, do not reduce the rate of self-deletion at all. In fact, in some cases, it goes up. Raven Blackdove says, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a paleontologist, then a veterinarian, then an astronaut, then an entomologist, then a movie star, then a screenwriter and a director. Now my career is in IT and I'm a cybersecurity architect. Yeah, it sounds like you've gone through many transitions. Whoa, ice cap site. Thank you so much. I think that's the, the biggest rumble rant I've ever gotten. Thank you so much. Smoosh Mouth says, happy birthday, Jeremy. Who would have thought that messing with somebody's natural biology could have dire consequences? I hope someday everyone who pushes this stuff gets serious legal backlash. They will. They will. By the way, I'm not somebody who doesn't believe. I believe dysphoria is real. Of course, it is real. Gender dysphoria is real, just like body dysmorphia are, is real. Um. The problem is when you take something that is real and you attach clout to it, you push it on platforms like TikTok, you attach, you, you know, you raise up people like Dylan Mulvaney and say, oh, you could take some puberty blockers for a few years and get famous. If, if you want to cut your breasts off or have a new vagina made or whatever, once you're 18, 19, 20, I would strongly advise against it. But if that's what you want to do and you can find a doctor to do it, I feel a lot differently about that than doing it to someone who's 15, 16, 17. You know, there are people that do extreme body modification surgeries. Um, and, you know, they're going to have to live with that decision for the rest of their life. To me, it's... It's just more sinister when you're talking about with kids, you know. You see, meet the clinicians who doled out puberty blockers to a generation of vulnerable children, including a girl, just because she liked Thomas the Tank as a toddler, and how some are still offering that powerful drugs privately. To me, this shit is demonic. Pardon my French. Like... You have to be an actual demon to be seeking out kids to do this. I mean, that's just, that's my, you know, people who have anorexia don't get told by the doctor to not eat food, right? But only in trans, only in, in people of body dysmorphia, bodybuilders, they're not told by their psychiatrists 
to go work out more and take more anabolic steroids. But only with gender dysmorphia are doctors saying you should do body surgeries and you should do all this kind of stuff, you know. It's only with this. This, you know, dysmorphia is real. Okay. But I I don't like the machine around it, right? Like I, I didn't make a video on it because it's somebody's kid, but like, did you see what Hollywood, who is it? Angelina Jolie, whose kid is that? She's like literally the meme. Like, um, there's the funeral meme. Do you know that what I'm talking about? Um, hold on. Yeah, this one. Anybody want to say anything? I'm trans. Like, that is, that's what this kid did at her grandfather's funeral. Ben Affleck. Yeah, sorry. It's like, come on. Like, you're, you're at your grandfather's funeral. To me, that's somebody that's been socially programmed to think that there's, you know, you're supposed to, I don't know, get supposed to clout or something like that. Ouija 49 says, happy birthday. I've been watching for years. I love seeing the live streams. Keep it up. That aside, I think I know where you're traveling to, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the show. Right on. Yeah, should be pretty good. Uh, just this Friday, I normally am live. So just so everyone knows, my normal live stream time is 5.30 Eastern. But I've got an appearance to make. Alistair Crowley. That's a yeah, that's a that's a interesting mention. The here's another great uh, this one's a little louder. Here's another epic doctor. Dr. Phil destroys DEI in 49 Catholics seconds. Come to the table and have to overcome racism, unconscious bias, misogyny. Uh, and so how do we help level the playing field for everyone? Okay, so that means you're trying to create a quality of outcome. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. That's what I hear you saying okay. about playing God. Yeah. How, do you, how do you create a quality of outcome uh, when people well, aren't you... the same? You're right. Some people are shorter. Some yeah. people are taller looking over that fence. They can't both play in the NBA. Right. You can't create a quality of outcome. What gives a DEI program the right to come in and, and try and alter the, the nature of things to create a quality of outcome. So, That's been tried. That didn't work. That was called Marxism. What? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Gotcha. Have you guys been enjoying? There's another topic I wanted to bounce to here. Have you all been enjoying? By the way, I think I'm going to do a, a Sunday live stream again this week, just so people know. I'm going to try and chum the waters on, on Saturdays and Sundays, in particular on Rumble, to try and find new viewers for my weekly live stream. Just so everyone knows, I'm live weekly, 5.30 Eastern. I prefer if you watch on Rumble, but I'm glad that you watch wherever you watch. In particular, if you're watching on the Midwestly YouTube channel right now, like Chad, Lance, Crimson, Skidmark, Coastline Kid, please move over to Quartercast. If you can, do it right now because this channel is getting deleted. Well, um, or I mean, I'll go to Rumble. Rumble is ideal, but if you want to stay on YouTube, then go there. In Canada, they have a suit company that makes suits for $20,000 and up, and they're bulletproof. Like John Wick suits. Darkshine says, it's nothing new. Plenty of kids my age used to say that they wish they were males or female. But that was... About when, or, but that was about it perceived being easier as the opposite sex. Teenagers need the truth, not an easy out. True. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes, everybody. So, everyone's been telling me, you got to watch Reacher. Reacher's a good show. Reacher's cool. Uh, I have seen, I have seen that clip, uh, Ara. Now, I'm going to use Reacher's, this guy's actual words, because, you know, rumble is a thing. 
Richard Star Alan Richardson baffled at religious support for Donald Trump. He's a rapist and a con man, and the entire Christian church seems to treat him like he's their poster child. There seems to also be, there is this general, I believe I know why he's doing this. He looked at what they've tried to do to Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt is a Christian. He has never claimed to be conservative. He has never complained to be uh, like a Trump supporter. But just because the guy goes to church, the entire weight of the media tried to cancel him. Remember that? Oh my God, you go to a church and your church doesn't affirm gay people. And that church might just happen to be close to where you live. And this is, you know, but that's a problem. And then so Chris Pratt had to come out and like apologize. You know, I, I apologize for being a Christian. But I definitely want to clarify, I'm not a Trump guy. I think that's what he's doing. But there's also a big misconception that Christians are all re uh, Republican. That's far from true. Um, if you look at like your, if you look at your uh, like real fire and brimstone churches, what is generally some common threads about them? One, they're small. People that want to worship in like the traditional Old Testament manner, that like militantly pro-life people, they are dying off and they are not being replaced. Most people that call themselves Christian and go to church, I'm not disrespecting people that do, you know, they go to these huge non-denominational mega churches. Most of those people vote Democrat. Most of those people are liberals. So, but this is about optics. And so Reacher has to say, well, yeah, I go to church, but woo, Trump bad. Trump bad. Oh, and also cops bad. Reacher star Alan Richman makes wildly offensive claim about cops. Same interview. Quote, this was a tragic case. I think he's talking about Breonna Taylor, whose boyfriend shot at the cops first, but facts don't matter. Cops get away with murder all the time. This is the Reacher star saying this. And the fact that we can't really hold them accountable for their improprieties is, dis improprieties is disturbing to me. We should completely reform the way we do it. I mean, you shouldn't have to spend more time getting an education as a hairstylist than a cop who's armed with a deadly weapon. We should make it very hard for people to make mistakes or abuse power in our institutions. What? Why don't you ask Derek Chauvin about how cops get away with murdering people? Derek Chauvin is sitting in a federal penitentiary. He was stabbed like 20 times or something like that, right? Um, all because some, um, some um, fentanyl had died. If you wanted to make the case for firing for firing Derek Chauvin, fine. But to me, he is in prison just like the same reason people who were trespassing on January 6th are in prison. They are political prisoners. Vane says, happy birthday, wishing you many more, much more continued success in the future. Thank you. Uh, Jake Martin, happy birthday. You're doing a public service, man. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. Uh, Tech Bear says, when I was seven, I wanted to be the green Power Ranger. Green. I think green was probably my favorite, too. Didn't the green Power Ranger turn into the white Power Ranger? I forget that, like... I forget that, uh, did he leave and then come back? I, I forget. Shade says, brother, ruining the lives of kids is demonic. I might sound like a madman, but opening that Bible exposes much of the evil in modern day. Happy birthday, Jeremy. Hope it's a good one. Thank you, dude. That's very kind.
Yeah. So, I mean, I think that, you know, ultimately you end up with a lot of these shit libs or people who aren't even necessarily religious. They're like, oh man, I got to make sure, you know, I got I go to church, but I don't want Hollywood to know that I don't want Hollywood to know that, or I don't want Hollywood to think I support Trump. So I have to come out and say heinous things about Trump. I mean, Donald Trump is objectively not a rapist. So the fact that this guy said that, I mean, Trump should sue him for libelous statements. Although, I don't know, those lawsuits are hard to win. But like, what, just because you believe some porn star who's made her entire career after bl- off of blowing the guy one time? By the way, just so we're clear, I 110% believe Trump had sex with Stormy Daniels. I 110% believe that he cheated on all of his wives. I 110% believe that. Okay, I believe Bill Clinton was was porking Monica Lewinsky. And guess what? I don't care about any of it. I don't care if Donald Trump is snorting Adderall every 30 minutes in the presidential office as long as he's taking care of this country. And I don't care if the president is getting a little side piece like JFK banging Marilyn Monroe. I don't care. I don't care. Why did I have to get a text message to tell me that from Coffee Brand Coffee is having a sale to celebrate your birthday and you did not tell us? It's in the title. I mean, how is this how is this broad in court again? How is didn't, didn't he get tried for this before? I just don't care about any of this shit. Do you think that Americans care if Donald Trump porked a, uh, a stripper? Nobody seemed to care that allegedly Barack Obama was sucking some guy's dick in a bathhouse. Allegedly. Or was it the other way around? Remember when she tried suing Donald Trump and lost so bad that not only did she have to pay Donald Trump's legal fees, this is something all these like weirdo libs don't remember. She lost her lawsuit against Donald Trump so bad that she had to pay his legal fees, which generally means that your case was so terrible that it wasted everybody's time. Shortly after that, her lawyer went to prison Don't care. And these libs are like, ah, oh, yeah, the hush money case, the hush money case. For what? For what? I don't believe that Stormy Daniels even wants to be doing this. That's what I think. Because she keeps getting humiliated. What did her lawyer go to prison for? Uh, trying to extort Nike, if I remember correctly. Is that, chat, can you remind me? Is that is that correct? By the way, don't forget to check out tnusa.com backslash the quartering. There's Tax Network USA sponsored the stream. Uh, indoctrination says... Happy birthday, Jeremy, but back to the back to the blue, back the blue till it happens to you. Hey, I I'm not a just I'm saying like um I'm not a back the blue guy. I believe very strongly that there are bad cops and that the police union is trash. Just like I think the Oops. Uh, I also believe there are good teachers and that the teachers union is trash. I think the teachers union and the police union is you know, protects the worst of their ilk. And uh, did Jeremy get divorced? Why? Why? What? what? Oh, is it because oh, you're maybe you're behind and you're like, I'm not spending it with my. I hate it. It would be cool if people who are behind on the stream, if their comments. Oh no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. 
Um, so anyway, yeah. What? I don't know. Bugsy, what is going on with you? Do you not think I read chat? I, 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 I don't understand it. Or maybe it's a meme that I don't understand. So anyway, they are now trying to reboot the Avengers with a black leader, of course. At CinemaCon, Marvel's Kevin Feige showed off footage from Captain America Brave New World that shows Harrison Ford's Thunderbolt um, asking black Captain America, because that's who it is, I'm not calling Anthony Mackie Captain America, to rebuild the Avengers. The comments. Steve Rogers is Captain America. Sam Wilson is the Falcon. This movie is going to bomb. This is a joke, right? Golly, I hope he builds a super diverse team. Pass. Tired concept. Wow, I'm not even slightly interested. Just absolutely, like every comment, by the way, this is on IGN too, right? Every single comment just dunking on it. Why does he think nobody cares about this this stuff? What do you mean? Nobody no Donald Trump didn't lose a single vote because of the grab him by the pussy thing. I guarantee it. Um, you know, objectively. You know, he lost no significant votes because of that. Like that's the that's the are you an AR guy or an AK guy? I'm an AK guy all day. I don't like to have to clean my gun constantly and I don't have to you know, have a little sand or dirt get into it and have to break down the whole damn thing so it keeps working. You can throw an AK-47 in a crick and come back in six months and pick it up. And it works fine. Wait, he tries being a gamer and will not go on gaming streams. What's happening? What is going on in that chat? I try being on a game. What? I won't go on gaming streams. What are you, who are you talking about? People are weird. 762 by 39. Hey, ARs are sexy. I have one. It's very sexy and it looks nice on my shelf. But if shit hit the fan, I'm grabbing the AK and it's not even a question. Ouija 49, as far as I'm aware, the comic with Falcon and Cap bombed. I don't know why they thought this was smart. Hey, the F Captain Marvel bombed four separate times and they kept running it. By the way, hey, thank you, Captain Sangri. Happy birthday, Jeremy. Have a beer on me. I will. I'm up to two beers now. Thank you so much. The... um. Yeah, thank you for all the beers. Can I spread the beers out over the weekend, though? You know? And by the way, like, I don't care about, you know, the lore about Anthony Mackie. He's just not Captain America. He's not. You, they would have been better off rebuilding another Captain America instead of trying to do this crap. And by the way, Anthony Mackie says, Captain America Brave New World will serve as a clear reset for the MCU, it's new storyline with new characters and new beliefs. Uh, <laughs> great. I'm. What do you think those new beliefs will be? Do you think they'll be Orange Man bad? Deplorable pirate Captain Gunbeard says an Avengers parody movie with a superpower had a hilarious offset would be an welcome over another soulless MCU movie. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I did see that the Joker 2 trailer was the second most viewed trailer of all time, second only to Barbie, I think. That's the Lady Gaga effect. That's why she keeps getting jobs. She's a demonic whore and a hater. 
I have no interest in seeing a, a movie that that weirdo is in. Um, but I'm the minority. She has a lot of fans worldwide. AK, AK will have ammo shortage when the crap hits the fan. No, it won't. Bro, do you know how many, how many AK rounds are still getting dug out of the ocean? You can buy AK, even during the ammo shortage, you could buy AK rounds at a relatively affordable price. And, and far fewer people own AKs than ARs. Mm, maybe that's not true. I would suspect, though. I would suspect there's a lot of people that own an AR but not an AK. I would suspect that a lot of people that own an AK also own a, an AR. But I bet you that there are a lot of people who own an AR but do not own an AK. <laughs> Dug out of the ocean? Oh, yeah. Haven't you ever seen that ammo for sale? You want a 308, not an AK. Well, I have one of those too. I have an AR-10. Yeah, 762 by 39 is cheap and it's plentiful. There will not be... Yeah, see? Sith knows what I'm talking about. That's how you know AK owners. Sith wrote spam cans for 30 bucks for the shit. Exactly. They're still available. You buy those spam cans with ammo. They're everywhere. You could buy pallets of them. Is it actually my birthday? Yes, it actually is my birthday. <laughs> Load your own. I mean, sure. Yeah, Bernoul spam cans are very accurate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, that's I'm saying way more people own ARs than AKs because if you own an AK, you would know that the ammo is cheap as hell and you could get it anytime, anywhere. I mean, yes, until I had my boating accident. That's right. Until I had my boating accident. I just spent 62 bucks on 30 block. Of AK? Come on. Uh, what's that ammo, the ammo marketplace site? Uh, what is that one everyone uses? Not gun broker, not arms list. Those are firearms. It's a site where you, it's like ammo seek, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look right now. I guarantee you a AK ammo is cheap AF. Ammo by caliber. Uh, 762 by 39. It's $0.40 cents a round. That's kind of double what I would have paid for it. But you can still get it for 40 cents a round. So a 30 pack definitely wasn't 60 bucks. Now, Royal Tiger is garbage tier. Um, I had a lot of, what is it, Tiger, Thunder, not Thunder Tiger, but some other kind of Tiger shit ammo. But it actually, I've never had an FTE or an FTL with like probably a thousand rounds through it. And it was the cheapest crap. It looked like the annoying thing when you buy AK ammo is that a lot of it comes in like, um, I bought like cases and cases of it, but it, each case included a thousand little boxes in it, which annoyed the shit out of me. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's about 40 to 50 cents around. That's on the high. Golden Tiger. Yeah, that's what it is. Golden Tiger steel case. That's what I have. But it was like the cheapest crap around. I bought like 5,000 rounds for almost nothing. And like I have not had a single problem with it. It's been completely like when I got it, I'm like, oh boy, this looks like cheap shit, you know? But then it's like, oh, actually, no, it's, it's like perfect. Never have a problem with it ever.
Oh, it's cool that you talk to chat. I always talk to my chat. I always talk to my uh I always talk to my always talk to my chat. Sometimes I think it caught that cost me viewers, but I like I like to talk to my chat. Like it gets people get like cuz I let my chat get me off off uh I'm up round uh, that 42 cents was the grain of the I already I already closed it. You can find it on Ammo Seek. Just look it up and sort by that on Ammo Seek. Um, okay. So now here's this. Talked about this. Talked about that. Did you see that uh, Trantifa member? I let my chat get me off. Hey, if I see if I see a bunch of red super chats in a row, that might actually work. <laughs> um, d- yeah the the Trantifa member, okay, built an IED, detonated it in front of the Republican Attorney General's building. This happened almost two months ago. Did anybody even hear about it? Has anybody even heard about it? Want to know how he got arrested? He uploaded this to TikTok. Yeah, he he. De- it was a like a nail bomb. Agent uh, X six. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Yeah, like a literal IED. You know how they caught him. He uploaded a stupid video bragging to TikTok about all of his Antifa stickers that he left at the scene. So he went to the scene, placed stickers around, blew up the bomb, and then the cops found him on a TikTok doing this. We're using very, like, clever logos. Right? Like, rainbow capitalism. Like we can do that stuff too. Like capitalism sucks. We can make it an aesthetic. Blue lives murder. That's you not even an aesthetic. Like, oh yeah, you get you that for a tattoo. Weird, like art looking thing like you can hang on the wall. No fences, no borders. Probably my choice. This one's actually really nice. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, I like how they're wearing a mask. Really cool Jesus logo. My body, my choice. I wonder what his opinion is on the jab. By the way, uh, by the way, just another upper middle class white guy. That's who that's who Antifa is. It's upper middle class white and uh, white, upper middle class white family raised and white. That's who's really in Antifa, at least in the United States. They're all rich kids or kids of rich parents. None of these kids grew up poor. And they all think they're fighting the power. This guy has a robotics degree and he had a job in a robotics factory or something. He was probably making a hundred grand a year. Now he's going to federal prison. We're using federal the- pound me in the rear the prison. Logos. Right. Like. It does help that none of the, yeah, Polar Dash. At least it's reassuring that none of these like people are smart. Yeah. Capitalism sucks. We can make it an aesthetic. Blue this is how the cops figured it out it was him, too. by the way. If you look at the court documents, uh, let me pull up the court documents here. Is this it? No. Here? No. Here? One of the court documents I read when I covered it in a standalone video was basically like, yeah, this moron had very unique stickers. We also found these stickers at the scene, and that's how we found out it was him. It was like the dumbest idiot ever. Here. Yeah. In particular, the following stickers were identified as being placed by the subject 
which also matched the stickers held by the idiot in the above referenced social media video. He was placing the stickers, then he went back to the scene, detonated a bomb, and then uploaded a video about the stickers, and that's how he got caught. I mean... <laughs> uh, CLK... Uh, happy birthday, Jeremy. Lol, I haven't collected stickers since I was 12. Hey, thank you for the rumble wrap. Very cool. Thank you. Jack says, Antifa are literally fascist brown shirts. Yeah. By the way, if you're tuned into the stream, my normal stream time is Monday through Friday, 5.30 Eastern. I'm streaming early just for today. Next week will be all 5.30 Eastern. Pat the Plumber says, happy birthday, Jeremy. Shout out to all the basement dwellers. Enjoy your weekend, homie. Thank you. I hopefully will. Shout out to the King of Biltong making an appearance. Good afternoon from Anton's Meet Neat. Free shipping for your Biltong using code quartering, one word, and Biltong USA and Anton USA. Happy birthday, Jeremy. May you have many happy returns. Thank you. I just had some biltong for breakfast. I eat it every single day. That's the truth. He doesn't pay me to say that. I actually eat it every day. Lago says, uh, happy birthday, Jeremy. Back in a proper time slot. <laughs> uh, and I don't know what that, I don't know what that, uh, what that means. Sorry. I don't know. Is that Spanish? So anyway, idiot got caught and arrested. Nobody reported on it because, you know, you know damn well if this was some mega extremist, right? Some mega extremist and had done this at like Letitia James's office, something like that, you know? If he had done this to a Democrat, Democrat's office or something like that, it would have been on it would have been front page news. They would have tied it back to Trump. They would have said, Oh, here's more, here's more uh Trump extremism, all this stuff. But because he's a little a little Trantifa super soldier, not only did hardly anybody cover the story, but nobody's covering the arrest. Oh, that's 41 in Spanish. Oh, okay. Shout out then. That is correct. Mega terrorists sweeping the country. Exactly, Halo. Yeah, that's that's exactly what exactly what the headlines would be. But you know, now it'll just be a blip. People are reporting on it on a Friday. No one's gonna talk about it. No one's gonna, you know, the media is not gonna say anything about radical trans people, even though we have, I don't know, seven in a row now. Just like the the pipe bombs in Boston. Yeah, we're never going to know who placed them. I think we can all pretty much guess that it was un an unlikely. We'll put it this way. I do not believe. I do not believe for one second that they don't know who put those pipe bombs there. Now, there are many theories. There are many theories that the feds did it or that I don't know. I don't know who did, but I know they know who did, if that makes sense. Matt Hammond says those leftists either want people to conform to their evil deeds or confirm their evil deeds were good because they feel guilty or they want credit for it. Yeah. Well, now he's gonna be uh now he's gonna be sharing a cell with some guy named Bubba, and he's gonna find out what resisting really feels like. I think that's all the topics I had for the show today. Hey, reminder, by the way, if it's if you haven't yet, pull out your phone and grab the Veebs app. Uh, Veebs is, uh, uh, you can scan like UPCs on items around your house or when you're in the grocery store or store and figure out if the company is essentially woke or hates you or not. It's super helpful. And when you install it and they ask you for like a confirmation code, use code 4444. So four fours, 
and then you get a free trial. I think it's only like a dollar a month anyway, but you might as well take the free trial. Um, so if you download, get Vives, it's on the App Store, it's on Google Play. You can set your preferences. I use it all the time. And uh, I, I don't remember why I opened that tab, but I will remind you to get it. Uh, deplorable Pirate Captain Gumbier says, uh, TV show idea, white Antifa BLM type in cell with purple Aki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be, that would be interesting. Yeah. Or general butt naked. What's everyone got going on this weekend? The kid needs a hug. Yeah. Remember, if you're on the Midwestly channel, make sure you subscribe to Quarter Cast because the streams are going away on that channel and they'll only be on Quarter Cast. Follow Sweet Baby Inc. Detected. I do. Do I sell coffee grinders or have suggestions? We do have a manual coffee grinder, but I don't have an electric one to, to suggest. Drinking and buying guns. That sounds a good weekend. Uh, quartering. Have you watched the movie Civil War? If so, thoughts. I have not. Shout out to the people watching on Twitch. I have not watched it yet. I probably won't have time unless it's stream. Is it streaming? Oh, yeah. By the way, also coffee brand coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're looking for coffee, we've got a sale going on right now. We've got the best coffee in the in the game. I saw that those people at Outkick are trying to do their own dropship garbage too. Ours is ours is freshly roasted on demand. We're not roasting fifty thousand bags at a time like all my competition are. So check out coffeebrandcoffee.com. It's spring injury season. What's that? <laughs> I have a Bozen kitchen grinder. I really like it. Oh, there you go. What's the name of that app? Veebs, V-E-E-B-S. And then when you install it, you use code 4444. About the movie, that is. Um, Tim's take was pretty bad. Tim, Tim's takes on modern media are maybe the worst. The only person, like who's worse at like modern media than Tim pool is Gavin McInnes. Rumble insiders selling stock to Def define insiders. Who is a rumble insider? I'm not, I'm holding. Although I only have like, how many shares do I have? I have like 10 or something like that. Carbonated bears is happy birthday, birthday boy. Thank you for standing against the AAPI hate by platforming Grums and Decoy Voice. That's true. I'm a strong Asian ally. Uh, Tim's take on... I mean, Tim's take on Fallout is dumb and wrong. Um, And Tim's take on the Civil War movie was... I mean, he's allowed to not like it, but... it's. I didn't agree with it. His other takes are fine. I don't listen to him about pop culture. I'm doing a Trump impression. Congratulations. Oh, I'm, um, and you're being the greatest basement pisser ever. And also harassing you that the Bears will beat the Packers this year. <laughs> Love your work. Yeah. Hey, I mean, the Bears are due. I'll give you that, Bears fans. I don't know if I think that that quarterback is the is the is the, is the next coming. I think he should have kept Justin Fields and drafted the, and traded down and drafted the receiver. But um, if that quarterback is everything, I suspect that someday the Bears will beat the Packers. I mean, they're due. Have you played Fallout? I played one of the Fallouts for like a little while, but everybody that I talked to that likes the Fallout game said the series is good. And then, like, Tim came flying in with the Fallout sucks. It's boring. I'm like, I don't know, dude. Everybody who likes Fallout t is telling me the show is good. Um, we're still debating on whether I should go see Dune Part 2 in the theater. You might as well just wait now, right? It's been, it's been out for long enough. I don't know. I guess is it a, is that one of those movies that would be good to see in IMAX? 
Like, I guess if you're going to go see it, go see it in IMAX. I saw the go. I'll tell you this though. I saw Ghostbusters Frozen Empire in IMAX and it didn't make it any better. Didn't, um, was it Dune 2? One of the movies got leaked on Twitter already, by the way. Fallout is like current cartoons showing the world that corporations must be bought under ethical control or brought under ethical control. I, I nothing Dune. Like, I'm just not a Dune guy. I, I, so I, I saw the first movie and I was like, this was really long. Um, but it sounds like everyone that likes Dune liked the second Dune movie. So I'm happy. I'm trying to be more like, like when, like you're allowed to enjoy things. Life is short, you know? Walter Goggins is, is, is incredible. I heard he just, he eats in that, in that movie or on the show. I heard he does really, really good. Yeah, I was surprised how good Fallout was. Not much girl bossing, hardly gay in sight, fair amount of fan service. That's what I mean. Like, I'm not I'm not calling anybody out, but I saw some people in my space being like, oh, it's woke. It has this one scene. It looks like trash. I'm like, dude, I I can hardly see anybody complaining about it. So not everything has to suck. I know like dunking on stuff makes for good videos. Believe me, my entire career is built on it. But, like, it's just, do, Fallout is not woke. And it's a fine show. I'm not saying it's the best ever, but, you know, I, you know, for me, will I watch it? Maybe eventually. But from what I see, people that like do or like Fallout, like it. So that's all that matters. I don't see anybody who's like big Fallout fans saying, oh my God, they'd race swap this or they'd ruin that. I'm just not seeing that narrative anywhere. Oh, whoa. Pat the plumber. That was $20. Thank you. Shout out to the basement. Door. That was very kind. I deserve, you deserved a bigger reaction for that. Jeremy, do you think Blair White is hot? Blair White is a man. I don't think men are hot. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think men can be hot. I'm just not attracted to men. I like Blair a lot. Thank God there's a notification when you go live. It reminded me to unsubscribe. Oh, and leave that comment, so don't forget. If I was into trans people, I mean, she'd be at the higher end of the list, I would suspect. <laughs> all right i think um with that i'm gonna go get on the treadmill do my workout i'm going to um upload my videos for the day and i'm gonna celebrate my birthday for about two hours tonight and then i'll get right back to work on saturday uh, I guess I can say that uh, I'll, I, I will probably be on Steven Crowder's show Monday morning. I don't know if he wanted me to promote it or say anything, but I'm going to promote it because why wouldn't I? Um, why would, I mean, why wouldn't I make content? What did you think about Blair White said about your former co-host of Sydney's? Oh, about Elisha? Well, everybody, I mean, there's been a lot of rumors about him being gay for a long time. I don't care because I don't care if people are gay or not. I, I don't, I really don't. Um, but yeah, I did see she outed him and was very specific about him sleeping with men. <laughs> so I, I tend to believe Blair, but again, I don't care if he is gay. Good for him. So yeah, Monday, so Monday's videos will be kind of low tech. Um, and, uh, but I, but I will have my regular videos on Monday. I will have my regular videos on Tuesday. You guys shouldn't experience any interruption. Any interruption. I might do my Tuesday live stream with Melanie Mack IRL in the same room, which would be kind of cool. Um, go to Anton's. I don't really know where Anton's is. Oh, it's in Roanoke. <laughs> um, Mina says, have an awesome birthday. 
Uh, thank you. Mina, I saw that meme you posted. I saw, I think that was you. Didn't you put, did you post a meme earlier about like a, a trans person with a, with like a, a dethawed chicken in their crotch and they were like, I'm a woman. I thought, I, I thought that was you. She's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I know that. Maybe she used to live there. As a general rule, I don't try to get too personal with my female employees or cohorts. I don't ask them a lot of questions like that. You know, I keep it to business. But uh, not that that's like an overly personal question, but that's how you stay out of trouble and you stay and you stay, you know, keep everybody feeling comfortable and have it going, brother. Yes. Did you see the dude from Canada approved a surgery? Yes. The taxpayers are flying him to Texas to get Texas to get gender reassignment surgery. I saw that. I might I might have to make some videos on Saturday or Sunday because it's so wild. All right, so thanks everybody. Um, thanks everybody for uh, tuning in today. We'll see you again live Monday, five thirty Eastern. Please watch on Rumble, but you don't have to. I'm also available on YouTube for the time being. And uh, Matt says, go to Fuel City Tacos and get elotes. It's corn in a cup. Bro, I can get corn in Wisconsin. Wisconsin has a lot of Mexican food here. We have, a, we have like a whole part of the city that's all. But if is that in Dallas? I'm only going to be in Dallas for like a little bit. Uh, Jer oh, OFP says, do a 16-ounce curl for me. Hey, I appreciate you. I'll probably do an eight ounce curl. Just a little mixer, little mixed drink, but thank you for that. All right, we'll see you guys Monday. And then um, obviously I still have my standalone videos ready for today too. And um, cool, we'll see ya.